Hey, this is Ken down here at Camping World of Asheville, and I'm going to do a quick video on this beauty right here. This is the 2023 Winnebago Navion 24D, and I'm talking about a cream puff, a trailer queen. This thing right here is the bee's knees. All right, first things first, I got to explain to you the inside of this Navion is amazing. It is a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter front end. That means you get the Turbo V6. But now they have added the same kind of navigation and CarPlay and all the features of a Mercedes-Benz E-Class car. Look at all the buttons and everything on that steering wheel. Look at all the nice features inside here. You get, you get navigation. CarPlay, that's Apple CarPlay, and then of course it also comes with all the features, all the safety features that a Mercedes-Benz comes with, like lane assist, variable cruise control, that means your cruise control senses how fast the car is going in front of you and it slows down, and it also keeps you inside the lane, and it also has anti-collision, so your older Sprinter models are basically the Sprinter uh, freight vans that came out in the earlier years. But now, as per requests of most buyers of these, you get an actual Mercedes-Benz front end. How about that? And of course, you got some stabilizer bars right down there. That means it's got stab jacks in it. Now, let me just back out, show you that swivel seat, and it's got a because you have to step up into the back here. Swivel seat has a nice pad that goes on top right here that lifts you right up. You can use that as a captain's chair and then back up a little bit more. There is your bed space, just like any classic Class C motorhome. Bed space up there. And of course, you've got a reading light and USB and a outlet in there if you needed to nice windows on either side so you can look out and if it gets a little stuffy in here look at that you've got the max air fan right next to that bed space acts just like a attic fan pulls all that moisture out now let me just go ahead and turn around here and show you this look at this u-shaped dinette very nice wood grain table up here but it's u-shaped that means you can sit all the way around it and then of course it being a u-shaped dinette is not good enough we have to put these foot pads out here that pop up and down on either end so you can actually sit you can actually lounge here oh the table turns look at that you can actually lounge and sit back here and there's the television right up there so very nice use of space very nice u-shaped dinette inside this winnebago and that is inside the slide that runs down pretty much the whole entire side of this navion and look at these cabinets i mean just amazing you got a little push button it locks you push the button it comes open and now you can lift it up overhead bins just like if you were in an airplane Push that button in and that's not going to come open. Nice accented lighting up there. And of course, if the U-shaped dinette wasn't enough seating space, you do have a couch right here that is underneath the Murphy bed. Now, let me show you real quick how this Murphy bed flips down. I'm going to take the pads out, the back cushions out of the bed, flip this guy over here. All right, we got those two down now. I got to reach over here to the sidewall. And here we go. Electronic just flips right down. Look at that. Bam, there you are. You got legs on the bottom down there that flip out, that come out and hold you up. And then you've got the Murphy bed right there. Let's go back up again. Here we are going right back up. And you've got some more of those cabinets back there. The legs flip in. Very nice. 
very nice use of space right there. Everything, wood grain, all that kind of good stuff. Let me just take you through the kitchenette real quick right here. You got cabinets down here. Looks like you've got a, uh, is this a convection? Oh yeah, that's a convection oven right there. So you've got microwave convection. You've got a two-sided stainless steel sink up here, real deep. Two-sided stainless steel sink with the gooseneck faucet. Another one of those airline cabinets up here. Your television with a sound bar. Not just one of those regular uh, televisions you get at Best Buy, but no, you got the big sound bar right down here. Look at this. An induction stove. True induction right there. How about that? Another cabinet up here. And then, of course, your drawer space. Anti-slam. Look at that. It just slides right in. Watch. You throw it, and it just pulls itself right in. How about that? You got three of those. And, of course, you got your refrigerator here. It looks like an eight cubic foot refrigerator with a freezer up on top right up here. How about that? Very nice. Runs on a 12 volt. And, of course, got to have some pantry space, right? Oh, and look at that. I didn't even see that. Some nice roll-out shelves in the pantry space. All right. I mean, they have thought of everything in this thing. i tell you what. Now, let's go down here and see what this one has inside. Oh, just a little bit. You got to have your fuses and electronics and stuff, but very nice. And, of course, this is a nice wood grain that is just a little bit different than the overhead cabinets to give it some, give it a nice accent. And now let's go back here and check out this bathroom. Here you go. You've got your medicine cabinet right here. Got you another little stainless steel sink right here. Another cabinet up under there. Your toilet. And of course, a nice big shower that has a skylight in the top of the shower in case you need to get over your head. You tall guys can fit in here and use that over your head. So let me back back out of the, for a 24 foot camper, this guy has so much space. I wanna put those cushions back into the couch over here so you can get a, a good feeling and what it looks like here with the couch, the U-shaped dinette with little foot stands right there, a little ottomans just built right in. There's the couch right through here to that U-shaped dinette, right through here to those captain's chairs. What a gem Winnebago has put together. Now back out here on this beautiful day in late November, in fact, the last day of November, I'm gonna go around and show you all the amenities down the side of the camper. This is of course the camp side of the camper. So you've got an awning right up there. And the really cool thing about that awning is that you don't even know it's there. It's like right into the side of the, uh, the molding there. So it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb or it doesn't stick out and catch anything. It's molded right into the top right there. Let's go down and show you some of the storage here. You got nice big storage rack up under there it's this uh scratch resistant plastic right here very good you can wash it out doesn't rust check out those alcoa aluminum wheels everybody that's a car fan loves the aluminum wheels continental tires on that guy right up here you got your tankless hot water heater right there a little storage unit back here we call this some more storage get it some more yes i know that's corny dad joke but hey i had four children so i'm entitled to some corny dad jokes here we go cummings owning 3200 uh watt generator of course everybody know cummings is the best like i said i worked 25 years in the television business and all of our trucks our microwave trucks the satellite trucks had Cummings owning generators. Some more storage back here in the back. Up oh, there I go, using that some more again. Totally walkable roof right up there. Oh, the sun is getting in my eyes. Got a hitch back here, 5,000 pounds. Also has your uh, 
seven-way plug-in so you can plug in lights and a trailer brake if you need to like i said totally walkable roof backup camera coming back around the other side of the navion here on the slide side there is all your you've got an outdoor shower all your water amenities right there and your plug-in power here right there is your sewer connection everything put together in a nice little package and of course there's still even more storage in a storage bin there and then here is your lp gas tank 40 gallon tank right there man this thing is sweet and just a beautiful 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 camper